Logging is a job that requires strength and stamina. Today, there are few companies that continue the lumbering tradition. During the late 1800s, over 27,000 men and boys worked in Michigan's lumber camps and sawmills. They harvested virgin white pine that sometimes measured up to 7 feet in diameter and reached as tall as 200 feet high. These trees were turned into the lumber that helped build this country and brought millions of dollars and thousands of people to the state. Hello, I'm Eric Jyla. Since white pine covered a good two-thirds of Michigan's lower peninsula, most people thought the lumber industry would last forever. Well, they were mistaken. What took hundreds of years to grow was brought to the ground in less than 50. From the end of the Civil War to the beginning of the 20th century, white pine was king in Michigan, and lumber barons and shanty boys ruled the Saginaw Valley. It was the French statesman and author Alexis de Tocqueville who, while touring Michigan, recognized the importance of the timber found here. He predicted the trees would bring civilization to the Saginaw Valley. De Tocqueville was right. Soon investors and laborers were flocking to Michigan to make money from timber. What he couldn't predict, though, was the impact that the lumber industry would have on Michigan and the Saginaw Valley. Come all the jolly country boys that would to shanty and go. Come listen to my story and I will tell to you. Our trials and our hardships we undergo each day while working up in Turner's camp along the Chippeway.